potato latkes, typically eaten during the holiday season of Hanukkah. Today, I'm making them inside a waffle maker because most things are better when made in a waffle maker. Let's get on with the recipe. Potato latkes, AKA potato pancakes. It's something that I've been eating since I was a little kid, but I've never made it this way. I've never made it inside of a waffle maker, but the truth is, this potato latke recipe can be made inside of a waffle maker. You can make them traditionally on a pan. The choice is yours. I guess that's the beauty of this recipe, but also the beauty of just using a waffle maker. I've made waffles many ways in the past. I've used buffalo chicken, I've used crab cakes, and this time I'm using potatoes as the vessel to bring home and drive home that idea of what a waffle really is. Now to the actual recipe, and inside this bowl, I've drained and squeezed out as much moisture from shredded potatoes and shredded onions as I humanly possibly can. But there's a little bit of science involved here. The liquid that I've drained out from the potatoes and the onions, I'm gonna let rest. Then I'm gonna take out the actual liquid and what's left behind is the potato starch. That is very crucial to this potato latke recipe. Now in this bowl, I got some more starch, the corn variety, chopped up green onions and salt and pepper. I also added some breadcrumbs to help bind it all together and add a little bit of texture component as well. Don't mind me using these gloves to mix this by hand because I'm shooting B-roll, but also mixing things by hand is way more effective than using a tool. Now, if this is your first time using a waffle maker, which I hope it's not, make sure to spray both sides with some cooking spray. This is going to help release it when it's done. But how do you know it's done? If you've ever made waffles before, you know when the green light goes on, it's typically not actually finished. So when it eventually does illuminate, I would always wait one to two minutes more. Are you at risk of burning your waffle? Yeah, I guess. Is it actually going to burn? Probably not. And as soon as it does come out of the waffle maker, or as soon as you take it out of the pan, hit it with some salt right away. Now in my experience, latkes and waffles are typically enjoyed many different ways. Some use sour cream, some use applesauce, some use ketchup, some eat it bare. For this, we're going above and beyond. I'm making a dill sour cream spread that's gonna go on top of the smoked salmon, and on top of the dill spread is gonna go a little bit of caviar because I'm fancy. Obviously, you don't have to eat it this way. This is merely a suggestion, and if you've never had a latka with smoked salmon and caviar, it is a very, very decadent bite but you gotta try it at least once. I mean, let's be real, making potatoes in the waffle maker is pretty awesome, am I right? Potato latkes in the waffle maker are one thing, but when you top them with smoked salmon and a dill-infused sour cream, it's another thing. When you take it up a level and put caviar on top, well, that just takes it to a place that my taste buds are definitely ready for. If you've had a latke before, you already love it. But when you make it in a waffle maker, I mean, you get all those little grooves of crispiness surrounded by softness, it takes it to a whole other place of deliciousness. Where are these places that I keep talking about? You'll never know, unless you hit up recipechampions.com and try and make this recipe in the comfort of your own home. Hope you guys liked this video. Remember to hit that sub button, turn on notifications, and give this video a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.